This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, SliceOnBroadway.com. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash AwesomeCast. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. We are live from Awesome, a Beachview neighborhood, Broadway Avenue here in Pittsburgh, PA. It is the Awesome Cast. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Ready to get geeky and talk tech with you guys here on the shoe. Uh, With me, I got a couch full of awesomeness. First, Katie Dudas is with us uh, from the Scarehouse, the director of media and marketing over there. Wait, sure. Wait, did I miss a word? <laughs> sales and marketing. It's sales fine. and marketing. <laughs> That's the it. thing. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. I'll just so the uh, awesome cast is not in the middle of your face too. Oh, thanks. So, <laughs> in the moment, and also <laughs> Buzzy, Buzzy Torek joining us first time on the awesome cast. But we've had an awesome chat with you as well. Yes. Uh, tell the people what you do. Um, I run Epicast, which is a po- another podcast networking network here in the city. Um, do a lot of photo and video work, but mostly audio. So I do all kinds of media-based stuff. Awesome, awesome group over there working out of uh, colleagues over at Work Hard Pittsburgh, of course, mm-hmm. up in Allentown and doing a lot of a lot of fun stuff. Um, and we'll talk about a little bit of that. You're, of course, involved in Hilltopolis that's going on yes. up there. Yeah, we're bringing in the cool kids. That's right. Uh, end of September. So we're throwing a free, huge concert at Grandview Park. Um, the cool kids will be headlining. We're going to have food trucks. We're going to have... Uh, craft beer we're gonna have hopefully bouncy castles but the cool kids are headlining and then pk delay and pet zebra will also be playing uh creatives drink we'll have djs so it's gonna be a big party september 22nd at go. grandview park there you go mark it out i think there'll be some streaming around that i believe yeah well, yeah uh, yes yeah. so we haven't figured out who th- there'll be a bunch of us working so we're not you know that you'll be able to watch it from home but <laughs> the point go. is it's free Come uh, view a concert with the city as a back one. And that's one of the things, you know, when I, when I think about what's happening here, you know, you guys are part of, uh, of course, we talk about this in the interviews and everything, you know, like getting people to come to a neighborhood like that, mm-hmm. you know, and I think that's really cool. So. Yeah. Yeah. And all the money that we make is going to uh, the Bashir kids right in Allentown. So nice. Yeah. We're giving every, everything right back. Nice. That's awesome. So again, this is the Awesome Cast. You can check everything out at awesomecast.com. Uh, subscribe to us on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio. And you can uh, drop a slime Awesome Cast on the Twitter as well. And uh, as well as awesomecast at sorgatronmedia.com. Uh, also, you can join us live here every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern time at live.awesomecast.net. Or uh, just follow us on the Facebook page for Awesome Cast so that uh, you'll get the notification when the Facebook Live goes on. Yeah, there's about 20 minutes of just like, you know, a shot outside and you're listening to the River's Edge, but, you know, it's cool. And also, thank you to our streaming partners and clean the River's Edge that uh, I know their their schedule has just switched up and I'm going to check my notes to see where that's at. Um, we are now Saturday mornings at 9 a.m. over at riversedgepgh.com if you want to catch us on the stream there with your, um, I don't know, Saturday morning waffles, whatever whatever <laughs> you guys do out there. Waffles. And also, 405 Media at the 405media.com. That's been uh, streaming us every day at 9 a.m. Pacific time, noon Eastern. So if you're, you can listen to Awesome Cast and catch up with us over your 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 lunch, I guess. <laughs> so and also thank you to our Patreon supporters at Patreon.com/slash Awesome Cast. Matt Weller at the Coffee Club five dollar level, getting the, the state of the show this month, as well as Michael Fedor uh, at Mike Fedor Show on the Twitter as well. You guys can support us as well at patreon.com slash awesome cast. Um, it's a big part of why we've made the move to, into a studio like this. And now we literally need to keep the lights on. So we mm-hmm. appreciate anybody chipping in at Patreon. And we're going to find more and more things for you guys to do, whether locally uh, here in the studio or, or otherwise. Listen, everybody on Patreon got cookies one year for Christmas. I just want to point that out. <laughs> that is something that has happened in the past, and you never know what's going to happen this Christmas. So let's get into it with our awesome things of the week. Uh, Katie, what is your awesome thing? 
More Red Bull. <laughs> you have had more Red Bull than you have. <laughs> yeah, I know. I love it. I need it. Give me, give me, give me. So you were involved with something pretty interesting. Yeah. So uh, this past Saturday, we were involved with the uh, Red Bull Flutog, which was a partner with um, the Three Rivers Regatta. And uh, essentially, we built a craft, Scarehouse built a craft, uh, piloted by zombies, and pushed it off a high ledge and hoped it flew. <laughs> that was the goal of the whole thing. <laughs> So we have no um, sort of engineering experience, which was hilarious to listen to the other interviews. They were like, oh, so who's the engineer in your team? Who's the engineer in your team? We're from this college and we do this and we're this, you know, group. And we're like, nope, none of us have a clue. <laughs> we learn from YouTube videos. So you can do it too. <laughs> so you made a plain looking structure in the long run. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, so what we did, what we did do best is make things look gory and gross and very well detailed. So I think our plane was the most beautiful plane there. Uh, we also had very nice zombie makeup and outfits, and we enjoyed playing zombies with dogs. You also did a dance. Yes, we did a dance. You I think it's coming up here in a second if you guys yes. are on video. Yes, as part of the whole thing, you have to do a 30-minute skit, and uh, people 30, do dances. 30, 30, 30 seconds? 30, 30 <laughs> seconds, yes. That is my brain. I need the Red Bull. That's what happens. 30-second uh, skit, and we, of course, chose Thriller because we knew as soon as the first few notes dropped, people would lose their minds, and mm. they did. It was pretty well received by the crowd. And uh, we actually learned this very um, high-tech dance at midnight the night before. Uh, we actually built the craft in a week. <laughs> so everything you're not supposed to do when you do something like this, we did. So, yeah. <laughs> Which we did not We did not win, but we looked the best, I believe. There you we go. Did, weren't the worst, though. We were absolutely not the worst. There you go. And, and there, that, was, that was a pretty crazy experience, uh, you know, seeing that. And, and I, I drove by there, like, uh, across the river there about two hours afterwards and all that was gone yeah or amazing was it just like a big barge that they sh they shoot in or something like they that? built the platform it was a, it was a built platform they'd been working over it on the, for several days uh the top was plywood and um yes yeah, so they built this whole thing and then it was gone and they were so impressed with the number of people that came down for the event um that i'm hoping it comes back again this year they used to do it in philly they've done that there a couple times but the winds in their particular area are kind of harsh on planes so that i know they're looking for another location so i'm hoping mm -hmm. that they come back again here uh like i said they're just the amount of coverage and love they got and even talking to the folks from red bull they this was larger than boston's so it's nice mm -hmm. and for a smaller town too mm -hmm. that, that we're able to do that well this this pretty much re replaced the anything that floats race didn't it Oh, I think that might still have been a thing. Was this, did it still happen this I don't, year? Don't quote me, but I didn't hear it wasn't happening. So. Well, I think I, it was probably because I know like Jagoff is always involved in anything that floats. Mm -hmm. And he was involved <laughs> with this, with the parking chair. And also Amanda and Arsissi of Bold Pittsburgh, um, uh, you know, one of our affiliates, is, was, was part of that as well. So I think I just all the attention went to that <laughs> between that and you. And, and, you know, maybe all the creatives did that instead of anything that floats this year. Well, I think next year we're going to do the anything that floats because we had way too much fun building things <laughs> and pretending we knew how to do things. And you don't have to jump off of high places. Yeah, I didn't like that. <laughs> uh, I am not a fan of heights. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. What you're saying is that it, if we enter a Sorgatron media team next year, you're not going to join us. No, I'll have my own team. I'll crush your team <laughs> with my zombie army. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so this event it combined all the things I hate, heights and uh, deep water, especially the rivers. And large, large amounts of caffeine. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> awesome. Buzzy, what's your awesome thing? Uh, I scoured the internet all night last night and today, and there's nothing awesome to report. <laughs> I'm looking, looking for something awesome. Um, not much, I guess, uh, Disney's breaking away from Netflix. There's, it's boring. I brought an awesome piece of technology. To show everybody. Okay. Um, it's called a fidget spinner. <laughs> oh, no. So I found this at Replay FX. <laughs> nice. And this is the, the, the technology. Right. You, just, you just found it laying around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You? I found it on the ground. So I wouldn't buy one of these. But uh, <laughs> not very interesting. Just a ball bearing. A bunch of ball bearings. Yeah, That's it. Yet endless, endless time yes. has been spent yeah. on it, I'm sure. We all need, I guess has we it, all need one of these. Has now. it beat your time that you spend on Duck Game? Not at all. <laughs> so I know we, we leave that game running all the time, but it's I looked last night and it was 1,900 hours played. Oh, jeez. <laughs> but we leave oh, it running geez. sometimes. So. Wow. I, I've done that before where it's like some, a game was like on in the background mm -hmm. and played like exactly. a whole like hour of it. And it's like, you've played 10 hours. Yep. Like, that's not correct at all, mm -hmm. I guess. Um, but yeah, that's that's the way it goes. Um, <laughs> it's awesome. I, I love that. Uh, so my, I, I kind of have an old school piece of technology too. I finally this weekend picked up an Xbox One. 
Awesome. Woo. I finally it's joined. Time. It's cheap enough for uh, anyone I to, to enjoy it and not and break I used, the bank. I used Facebook Marketplace. Nice. I think nice. this is the first thing I've ever bought on Facebook because I've, I've, I've bought the TV in the studio. I bought on OfferUp. I bought, um, I at least got rid of our air conditioning units on, um, what's the other one? Oh, let go. Let go. Um, so this is the first time I was just like, was on it. I had a couple bucks and I'm just like, yeah, I was looking at because I, I I do the the games for gold, so I've been checking the box at, twice a month to get that free game <laughs> for Xbox One, and I can't play it. And I looked at the list, and I know when you plug it in, like all the games, you know, all the Xbox games from a certain point are, are compatible for compatible with Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty, right? And every and then you have every Xbox One. So I'm like, if I if if I drop the dime on Xbox One, I'm not going to buy a game for a long, 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 long time probably and i booted it up and i plugged it in and i looked at my list and it says here's all the games you can download 100 games <laughs> were available to me and significant games too <laughs> there were like uh at least three gears of war games a couple of halo games not like three or four but like reach and stuff like that uh tomb raider uh several assassin's creed games but no duck game but no <laughs> duck game <laughs> darn but, it but no duck game but i did finally get that one game that i see every year at uh, a replay at the lfg um the nighthog oh yeah you know what i'm talking yeah, about yeah i finally picked it was like 10 bucks on steam so mm-hmm. it just makes sense um and, and bought some new controllers for for the, the retro pie and, and stuff in here so so the gaming my gaming like again just like i need to get into gaming more again it's a nice release for me it's a way to just step away from everything and and i kind of shorted up so there's stuff here there's stuff at home with the xbox um i'm really impressed with the setup in general and maybe just because i've had time with windows 10 between the studio here um and the and the laptop that i have so the interface i guess makes a little bit more sense now i love that you can just install twitch and then you're on twitch i've been playing with that a little bit you can install apps like spotify right yeah 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 but i have an apple t hooked up Apple TV hooked up to the Xbox. Okay. So okay. it's a little redundant if I do that kind of stuff. So I kind of want to keep those things separated. Mm-hmm. Unless I buy things on iTunes. So, you know, but, uh, but, but I- I'm liking it so far. I'm liking that kind of app kind of look to it and everything. So, so, you know, it's been, it's been a really cool experience so far. Well, I got, I got a good one. Um, an awesome thing. I bought a Bluetooth speaker from Anchor oh. a mm. couple months back and it has without a doubt stood the test of time. It sounds incredible for the price. It was 35 bucks, and uh, it lasts for like a week at least at a time before I have to recharge it. Wow. And it sounds decent. It goes anywhere. Uh, I highly great. recommend if you're looking for a portable speaker, Anchor's like the bang for your buck kind of thing right now. We got one of the U- UE booms in here that, that we were using before we got the TV and we just mm-hmm. Chromecast to it. And it was like a, it's like a hundred dollar speaker they gave us for like a Verizon blogger event one time. Nice. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's, I've been using it for years ever mm-hmm. since. So I wouldn't even thought to use one of those things. So, um, I got mine out of necessity cause I broke my headphone jack off in, oh no. in my laptop. So I needed another way to play music. Um, Krauss is out there. He's our, our, our resident Microsoft, uh, um, crazy Krauss. Uh, and he says, uh, finally to the Xbox one. Uh, mm-hmm. yes, yes. I, I think I have a friend request out to you there, there, Ron. Uh, so, you know, of course then half of my friends have gone PlayStation four. So, uh, eh, but I, I'm looking to do some stuff. My brother's on Xbox. A lot of my friends are on Xbox that are pretty active. So I'm going to try to connect with them and do some more things around that too. So, you know, finally caught up and also catching up to what kraus and chilla do talk about on the show all the time i bought my first pair of bluetooth headphones but then i realized how much i can't use them because i can't watch a video or edit video with them because of the delay Mm. so i was like oh cool i need a new pair of headphones here these are bluetooth to everything then i realized wait there's that delay Mm -hmm. I can't really use them everywhere, at uh. least for work. So I'm going to spend some time with those and hopefully have a little bit of review. I, I bought, bought a pair. Um, they kind do of make pair, Bluetooth so. ones with an actual jack that you can you can so go you wire can, or wireless. So you can switch up. That's yeah. good. That's that, that's cool. Um, so we look, I, and I kind of also figured 
well, the new iPhone will be out soon. I'm about due. I'm probably going to lose my headphone jack. I should just get used to this mm-hmm. idea. So, <laughs> you know, um, you know, unfortunately, but you know, it's the next step. Um, there's another awesome thing, for, uh, awesome thing that we'll get to in just a moment. But first, I want to give out a shout out to our friends at Slice on Broadway at sliceonbroadway.com, right up the street here. I've been talking wrestling with the guys when I pop in there. Actually, we had a little bit of an event go on. Uh, this week as well, a good friend of ours um, from Wrestling Mayhem Show has is uh, was heading out. And he had to get that one last slice before he, he uh, moved away from uh, the Pittsburgh area. So uh, it's really awesome. They're really accommodating with that, and they've been supporting. I can't get the keyboard to work here. Uh, they've been supporting mm-hmm. Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza for several years now. Uh, check them out right up Broadway here in the Beachview area, as well as Main Street in Carnegie, PA, and PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates. And uh, let them know that the awesome cast sent you. Somebody told me uh, from the Wrestling Mayhem show that he gets sliced once a week and says, Sorg sent me and just leaves. <laughs> so I don't know if that works and they know exactly what they're talking about, but and I don't know if he's going to the right location either. Oh, but, uh, you know, I think he just like shows up at PNC Park, sort of and he walks out. So I, 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 I don't know if, if that helps, but either way, if they get some feedback, that's all I'm worried about. So thank you so much, everybody. This is important. Um, our sponsors here on the show. So wheels has last week we had brian crawford on the show and he he showed off his mini projector that he's been using and he's been getting a lot of use out of it was a hundred hundred dollar i believe um a mini projector called the mirror 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 I, I don't know it's, it's spelled really weird um so he got it he sends me a picture and it's like a little thing like the size of your phone and he, he shows me a picture of the projector and a chromecast plugged into the side of it and he sends me a video that I'll share here for you guys on the on the viewer here. And uh, he tested it using the awesome cast. So there's me on the wall of his apartment. And so this <laughs> has just become like a nice alternative um, big screen TV uh, going on here. So again, that's and it's that. battery operated too, and right? And I think it is battery operated too. That's pretty cool. It's one of those mini. It's just it's an awesome little device that goes in his pocket. And I guess he had, he had purchased it for. Um, like meetings, like like some of the, the music festival meetings, I think. And and it was, it was supposed to be like, you know, pretty much set for use in like a dark room and everything. But he's been able to use it like about anywhere. And it's been really versatile. So uh, another use. So uh, I, I think Wheels bought it during the show last week when we were talking about <laughs> it too. So um, which I, I got to imagine he's also thinking of ways to use this during the wrestling shows because he does sound for RWA uh, down there in West Newton. So uh, I'm interested to see... Um, what other uses we can get out of a little thing like that? That'd be an awesome little thing to kind of deploy for, you know, you can have a few different uses for that, it's right? The, it's the video version of a Bluetooth speaker. It kind <laughs> of is, right? You know, I mean, we were talking about last week. I was like, well, I could take that along with me instead of like mm-hmm. bringing an iPad or my laptop to try to watch movies. Like I can throw that on the wall. Yeah. Yep. You know, Netflix it from from like you know you know, if you're doing a podcast and you have your guest you can put it on the wall for your host to look at and read exactly for a pop you know the pop-up video podcast idea you know it'd be real nice you know if we didn't have a nice tv that we happen to get off of offer up and we just throw it up on the wall with this little thing right so that was one of the ideas in here was like let's put a projector and just project it on the wall Mm -hmm. after we did wrestlemania at work hard that one time it's like i like (laughs) this idea we should just do this right (laughs) and then it doesn't take up much room but you know um so it's a really good option so thanks wheels for uh sharing his experience with that i I know uh brian likes seeing that too so also from here (laughs) i saw this brandon shared this one today Dog behaviorist says audiobooks can help dogs relax while they're while you're gone. I read um, that and it did not make the awesome list for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I, whenever I leave Wicked at home, I leave WWE Network on. <laughs> Just you know something or 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 QED because it's it's either <laughs> wrestling or it's educational. I don't want to leave like because if you leave a regular channel on, like the dog is watching like Judge Judy and Moria Povich and and soap operas all day. Oh, and yeah. it's gonna and bite people. Probably. It's yeah. It's not he <laughs> he. You know the other day he had a really weird attitude, and I think it lends to like I left like Channel Eleven on or something, mm-hmm. right? And you watch uh, enough news. You watch. Oh, that's yeah, it. that's it. He's really no kidding. He's, He's really pissed about North Korea. Um, <laughs> but uh, I, I can't believe what they got into. There's actually a playlist which starts with Pride and Prejudice. 
Um, then it goes into a dog's purpose, uh, soldier dogs, wind in the willows, born on, uh, born a crime, stories from South African childhood. What? <laughs> These are the things that apparently soothe the dog. But I mean, this is an age where we have um, pet cameras where you can talk through so they can hear you. Although my dog does not react when we FaceTime each other from across the country. So I don't know. Maybe that's just my dog doesn't just doesn't care about it. You FaceTime your dog across the country. What's that? You face dog. You, you FaceTime your dog across the country. No, I FaceTime you, and you put the dog on. <laughs> is what happens. Okay, I just needed to clarify that for people so they don't think that you're FaceTiming your dog. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, we did not get the dog a phone yet. Not until he's older. Um, <laughs> <laughs> until he gets a job, he can pay for until himself. Until he gets a job, he can pay for himself. Exactly. Absolutely. So, um, <laughs> other than that. Uh, so we have a few from Brandon here. Um, random stuff show up. Oh, this was good. This actually, I watched more of this video than I probably should have. This was a BuzzFeed video. Apparently, if you go on eBay, you can buy mystery boxes. <laughs> have you seen this? No. And which this is this exactly how I'm going to get rid of all that crap in my basement that like I don't think anybody's going to pick up? You put it in a mystery box, put a big question mark on it, and you're, you're going to have more luck at it. So th this uh, Joanna here who buys weird stuff, uh, she goes through and, and she bought different like sizes of box. Like there's like a $20 box. There's dental floss in this. Look at that. Oh, and we nice. weren't sure if it was used or not. There's like a weird Mickey statue that she pulled out. Yucky. There was, um, there was one that was like bag, like the first thing she, there's other things in there, but the first thing she showed out was a, a, a Ziploc bag that said bag of strange. And it was literally like like garbage debris or something in a bag, you know. <laughs> and just the seeds, watermelon seeds, things like that. And it's just the, there was a there's a game it's like a Game Gear Sonic game in there. There's this this woven purse <laughs> in there. It's it was pretty it was pretty incredible and strange and weird. And I, I guess it's like a weird collector hobby now. So um, the weird world, world of uh, eBay, I guess, kind of uh, uh, keeps going here. So, uh, Katie, would you buy a, a buy mystery box? <laughs> no. I should do a scare house mystery you box. Should do a, you should definitely do one, actually. <laughs> like random crap I find in the haunt. <laughs> I mean, isn't that... Because how, my, how much stuff is just kind of laying around from old haunts and oh, everything, yeah. right? So oh, you yeah. can just like pack it up in a box and say, here's random memorabilia, mm -hmm. from you haunt. know... And, you know, include a, I don't know, a RIP ticket or something, yes. right? And here's so. a rib from the Scarecraft. <laughs> <laughs> I, by the way, I saw, I, I could see on the overhead drone, like, you guys grabbing at the at the ribs on the craft. Well, on the, I bet when I hit yeah, uh, Matt, grab some. Yeah. And they actually gave him a couple pieces, too. So we ended up with a handful of ribs. I wish they would have saved the tombstone. Yeah, the, the tombstone oh, tail was really nice. So, so Yeah. Mystery box. What about you, Buzzy? You, you got any? Yes. Could you do an Epicast box? Uh, we should. It would be a lot of full of shit. <laughs> a craft beer. <laughs> um, I don't know. I know David and uh, David Tusik was talking about it. Work hard today about marketing that. I don't know. It'd be an interesting guerrilla marketing tactic, yes. I'm sure. So thank you, Brandon, for sending that. Katie, uh, what what do you have uh, pinned here for this week? Oh, jeez. Sorry. I was not prepared. Uh, ooh, what's so cool and exciting? Uh, let's Oh, did, Facebook shuts down Snapchat competitor LifeStage. What? I didn't even know it was a thing because we're old people. <laughs> so it was for kids 22 and under. <laughs> That's it. That's the only people that could have this was LifeStage. <laughs> and I have no idea. I, it's, there's this new prodigy. Like he's a 19-year-old kid, Michael Saman or whatever who comes up with all these different apps for Facebook to reach the kids 21 and under. Uh, it, you put essentially you record videos of like happy face, sad face, likes, dislikes, best friends. So it turns it into a video biography of yourself. And essentially it looks like it targets your local areas. Like if you, um, it's built for high schoolers to learn about their classmates, a uh, quick slight swipe, you can block people and report them. But um, yeah, it's gone. Apparently it didn't do very well. Although if you would have gotten your hands on this, because I'm noticing the dislike is is brown with a little poop, little poop and a bunch of toilet paper across the bottom here. Yes. So that would have been perfect. That, that See, seems right up your alley. I don't understand. It's like we would have more fun with this stuff than the kids would have with this. They don't even like social media. The it's kids so don't weird. have any imagination. We'd have way more fun with something like this. Oh yeah. Absolutely. That Katie, would your approval sign be the poop emoji yes. with Okay. Yes. 
I'm so, so that happy. would that would might be. Can you switch it? That's the, the, yes, Can yes, I switch the good important. and the bad? Because yeah, absolutely. So, um, <laughs> <that sounds>. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Buzzy, you 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 mentioned earlier, but there there is actually a couple. Um, let, let's bundle up a couple of these uh, Netflix uh, kind of updates. I guess this, I didn't see this. So so Disney's leaving in 2019. In yeah. 2019, mm-hmm. it seems like they just signed up because there was that whole like, hey, all the movies are going to come on, and and this this Star Wars is going to be on. They, a Rogue One's on there right now, which Disney is awesome. does the Marvel stuff now too, right? Absolutely, and then. Netflix is doing Marvel series, right? So right. where do they go? I don't think I don't think <laughs> this because I think the Netflix stuff is the Netflix stuff, right? So they may yeah. still have deals there. Yeah. But also, kind of interesting, along with this, there was a story that's been talked about the last couple of days about uh, Netflix has acquired Mark Miller's Comics Publishing House, and this is the guy behind things like Kingsman, Kick Ass. They've been uh, um, crediting him. Apparently, he's the one that came up with a lot of the details for the original Civil War series for for Marvel. That you know, of course became partially the, you know inspire, inspiration for the Captain America Civil War movie, uh, Old Man Logan that inspired the Logan movie, um, and obviously Netflix is probably not going to like I don't know how much they're going to get out of Kingsman and Kick Ass unless maybe they they requisition a, a you know a Netflix series through the production companies doing the movies perhaps, but there's a lot of properties that haven't been touched, and this is a guy he did a Wanted, he he's done mm-hmm. a lot of properties outside of marvel that have become movies very directly so you know kind of a and and plus i think this is their first acquisition of a company so a a, a whole different play from netflix who's Mm -hmm. been doing a lot of really interesting things so um and also keep it on the comic book side of things too so it seems like they're doing more and more comedy as well Mm -hmm. and um but they're doing like a a new comedy special like once a week yep and it seems like they're paying out or you know comics are choosing to do netflix over comedy central and yeah. stuff so and hbo mm-hmm. yeah you so know. it looks like uh they're paying better at least and people are signing more contracts with them there was a, i think there's a trend to do half hour specials instead of hour long specials too well, i noticed one there was um i forget what the series was called but it was about four half hour specials maybe six and it was one it, was, it looks like they filmed it in one night mm-hmm. and and you know, and just featured some new new talent and everything. Like, it seems like a series that would have popped up in the, in you know prime time or a Saturday on a, on a Comedy Central, mm-hmm. right? And, and and you know, looking at HBO Go, like every time it's like, oh hey, this guy's got a comedy special, and you're like, okay, the when's the last time I heard that you guys had a comedy special? Yeah, right? yeah. So like even that's kind of thinning out in comparison. So you get Dave Chappelle, things like that. The anime stuff's been building up. Um, randomly, season three of Ultron dropped this week, and I think I just watched it like six <laughs> months ago. Right? <laughs> I, I'm not complaining. It's mm-hmm. an amazing series. Um, but they're they're doing incredible with, with that kind of stuff. Um, so and, and aside from that, YouTube Red outbid. A Karate Kid sequel series <laughs> over Netflix and Amazon. No, have you heard the concept yet, though? No. Okay. All right. All right. Well, <laughs> like, I, already it, I want to put this on your reaction for this. So they have they have Daniel and they have the Cobra Kai kid, right? Okay. They open dojos across the street from each other. Already awful. This is set in the same universe. <laughs> it's a comedy. Okay. <laughs> Rated G, probably. rated G. I don't know. Yeah. Well, you know, and 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 YouTube Red, who has like the Rooster Teeth people, the um, uh, who was the gamer that that pissed everybody off recently, um, you know, like stuff that we we're not into because it's YouTube generation stuff, right? And here they just like got Karate Kid <laughs> from thirty years ago, you know, uh, it which worked when I was six. There you go. You know, well, hey, it's bringing us older crowd, I guess, back into YouTube, mm-hmm. right? Because we're all, I mean, we're even making our stuff on, on Facebook and everything like that. So, um, what about you, Katie? You, 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 <laughs> I made a face. Are you, I, I didn't, I didn't check your expression. It was good. It was a little bit, what? <laughs> what? I want it to work. It just, it's like, I don't know. They should just move them in together and had an odd couple series. It feels like it almost, is going to be right yeah like, I, I it feels because i mean they've done the sweet the leg video with the the other guy um he was also in like how i met your mother uh trying to convince everybody that he was actually the hero of karate kid you know like those it's, it's been kind of this meme thing for for about 10 years now 
Uh, so really, I don't know. We, well, we can ask Ralph Macchio when he comes to Steel City Con this weekend. Yes. Like personally. So is the other guy there too? Is it just Ralph Macchio? I think it's just Ralph Macchio. Yeah. So it, it makes make sure make sure you ask him about that, Missy. When you go. Okay. Uh, I thought you, I, I'm sorry. I thought you were saying something, so I was cute. You know. No. Okay. You're, yeah, that was just a guttural reaction to <laughs> the Karate Kid. No, I'm actually looking up something that Brandon mentioned in the chat room. About the Saraha or oh, however okay. it's I've seen, seen that. I've yeah. seen some of the wrestlers have been playing. Apparently, it's like, tell me what you think of me uh-huh. kind of app, like anonymously. Yeah. And that's... There's been 30 of these apps. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is like the new one, I guess, that everybody's on. But, but, like, but, but very specifically, I've seen the pro wrestlers using it. Mm-hmm. So that gets weird. So... Um, I'm kind of afraid to jump on something like that. Yeah. So it's I like, want to tell you what I really think about you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's like, uh, like, like why life. would you invite that? You know, at that yeah. point, you know, it's like, it's like, it's like post secret, but targeted. Yeah. In the long run. Oh so, yeah. I mean, there, there, you're, there's going to be some story about somebody just having an awful time because of something like that. Um, fall. <laughs> There was a there was a story that came up on a gadget this week. Um, you know, self driving cars. You know, we've you know, of course big in this city. Um, I don't know if this applies to the Uber self driving cars because, from what I understand, I think they tell the computer where stop signs are. They're not visually reading them. But apparently, there is an algorithmic way to confuse self driving cars by altering street signs. Um, apparently, if you you know, we, we see a, definitely in this town, like you know, you know, stop hate. Um, and, and they printed like versions of the love and hate sign or stickers that go on stop signs that are going to confuse the, the digital interface, the, 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 you know, the visual interface for the cars, making them, I guess, not see the stop signs, (laughs) which could be a problem. Could be a problem. Why are people trying to sabotage autonomous vehicles already? (laughs) Oh, of course they are. Well, it's another thing. I guess we need that to happen. Well, you need to you need to know it's a problem so you can Mm -hmm. fix it for one thing. So, um, so so good they're figuring it now before we all have them and that's all that's coming by here. Um, but uh, it was it was an interesting hack that popped up there. Uh, Katie, what else you got to talk about here? Let's see what else is fun and exciting. Oh, YouTube has a messaging app now essentially within it. Uh, you can send videos to your friends. Is this what I've been getting messages about all day from my probably. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, but you can send you can send videos to your friends and you could talk about them and be like, man, I could do that even worse. Watch me hold my beer. And then you do something even stupider. So I, this is another way for people to message me and tell me I deserve more subscriptions on my videos and, and yes. follow this link. I'm sure there'll and be nice conversations. What the hell? Oh, they notice they have an ad blocker. Um, yeah, I don't want your 30 minute ad before I show this on my show. Thank nope. you. But uh, OK. Yeah, I, They've been testing it. And now it's uh, going out to everybody. So you can essentially just send your friends videos and talk about them in the mobile tab. This is this is another thing. I, oh, Buzzy, you guys aren't doing much with the YouTube communities, are you? No, not really. Like, we have it, a couple it, podcasts that auto populate on YouTube, but yeah, they don't. Yeah. Since it's not video, video, it's right. not uh, taking off too well. We, are you doing like kind of the podcast as a video kind of thing? Just as like, a just static photo. A static yeah. photo. Yeah. yeah, I'm doing that too, just so it's another place that it is. Mm-hmm. Um, and even like, you know, obviously we put these shows on YouTube and they don't really, it just, it's not made for YouTube, but it's mm-hmm. good because it's easier to share sometimes than, yeah. than, than Facebook video and things like that. It's easier to share on everywhere, but Facebook. Yes, right? exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, this is for Looks the, better. this yeah. is for the rest of the world, but the rest of the world is on Facebook now. So mm-hmm. we've kind of flipped that and everybody checks us out there. So, um, but, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> I, I don't, I, I, yeah, I don't see using it. They, they kind of need this because they need that. Like, I feel like it's hard to find that community because it's all comments, right? There's no mm-hmm. like Facebook works. And it's because the worst comments. Like it's yes. the YouTube exactly. comment sections are a hell. We we've moved we've moved over to Facebook because everybody is here anyways, and we mm-hmm. happen to broadcast. Mm-hmm. Here you go, right? Mm-hmm. So I love our YouTube whatever on the Scarehouse YouTube page. As soon as a video goes up, we'll get one thumbs down. So there's just somebody sitting at home waiting for our videos to go up to just like <laughs> thumb it down. 
It's like, they don't have anything better to do than they go, no, I'm going to show you. They're subscribed and, and still they get notifications <laughs> yeah. whenever you make a new Screw video. Screw this. These guys are the worst. Thumbs down. Yeah, well, that's kind of a, uh, that, that, that's kind of a mark of like a, a, hey, people are noticing us if we're getting, like if you're getting like X amount of thumbs down, it's like you've gotten like a nice threshold of, of attention, right? Mm-hmm. You know, that, you know, I, I wish, I, I'm still waiting for the hate mail. You know, coming at me for for our shows, for all the things that we've done back in the day. I'm waiting for somebody to find like episode three where we said really horrible things and be like, "You guys suck," and be like, "Yeah, it's that was a while ago." So, but uh, awesome. <laughs> yeah, it, it, and even like like YouTube YouTube Live, we've kind of moved away from as well. Like we we've moved the last couple of shows over from that because it's just, so much easier to get eyes on Facebook. No, yeah, before. exactly. It's just yeah. nobody's showing up. Like we have the three super fans pop in every time that we go on you know, live on youtube right mm-hmm. and since we've moved them in the last two weeks over it's been like it's tripled you know it's like we have five five viewers versus the two we had mm-hmm. you know and that just populates and gets more views than if we uploaded it if we did it live and then because because but is facebook still when you're finished with your video throw your audio off half a second no i haven't seen that no? okay. Because it was happening to everybody's video, apparently. I haven't noticed. Um, maybe they fix it. But apparently you go live and then there's a little delay after after you're live. It's fine when you're live, but when the video's archived, it's Jeez. messed up. That's weird. Okay, yeah. so it's not that thing that we were going nuts about the live streaming before. Because remember, nah, we're nah, like, why doesn't remember, everything yeah. sync? Yeah. Everything is perfect. Why doesn't it sync with what he's saying? <laughs> It was, it was madness. We were like, maybe it's OBS. And I threw my hands up and we used Wirecast and it seemed to kind of work. And But it seems like it's it's kind of, it, we haven't had that problem with either for a while. Yeah, so. I don't know. We've been using, we've been doing more and more live streams. But, you know, we're using a cheaper camera. It's nothing crazy. But I haven't noticed it being off lately. Right, right. So, so. Oh, yeah. Now, you two are both audiophiles. Like you, this is this is where you live. There are plenty of times, Sorg, that you say, oh, the delay is horrible. I can't stand it. And I'm like, I don't even notice it. What are you talking about? Is it that sort of a situation or is this definitely noticeable? <laughs> Ooh, it's yeah. not It's not bad. It's it's very it, slight. It's one of those things okay. we notice, but the general yeah. viewer is yeah. not going to care okay. about. That, that's, what I was, that's yeah. what I was confirming. Now, the thing that we were dealing with was pretty significant when we were doing mm. our live streams. Because yep. I was you know, clarify, like Buzzy and I, through Work Hard, we do a lot of live streams through the rig and everything like that. So we're kind of using... An interesting set of hardware, I guess. Yeah, yeah. You know, more than just their phone or, or anything like that. Just take this and mobile, mm-hmm. <laughs> really. Um, and and we've 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 been through our share of interesting technical. Now now, Katie, you're mostly using a phone when you're doing your correct for, yeah. for, for it's a scare house. It's always phone until like somebody's running. A, what the hell was running behind you at the at the flu tog on Friday? <laughs> something something was like running. It was like super loud in the background. Oh, it was a uh, speedboat. The speedboats were yeah, going. Yeah, we're like. <laughs> eh. Oh well. <laughs> yep, here we are. Live, yep, live happened. internet. Live internet, guys. I just talk louder. Yep. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, yeah, and that's been doing. That's been really good for you guys. Oh yeah, so. I yeah, that's been amazing. And Facebook, you can tell Facebook is rewarding us by mm-hmm. doing it weekly. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Like, oh yeah, here we'll put this Absolutely. in front of a few more, few more people for yeah. you. Like, thanks, thanks. Definitely. All right. Anything else you guys want to touch on here before we get out here? Any other stories from the week? Mm-hmm. We got all kinds of stuff coming up this weekend. Oh, what's coming up? Missy and I are going to be still city con. What? Yeah. What are you guys doing there? We have a table. We'll be together. You can see us both at the same time <laughs> in stereo. What? Stalking Ralph Macchio. Yes. <laughs> we can neither confirm nor deny that. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. Isn't, isn't Burt Reynolds going to be there too? Yes, Burt Reynolds. I want to see what he looks like. <laughs> I will get photos of Burt Reynolds if it kills me. There you go. Stalking, <laughs> show my friends. Stalking Burt Reynolds. That's awesome. He, he's the one that they're going to be put like behind the curtain or something. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm, we're like never going to see him. Or something. Yeah. You're not going to be able to snipe those pictures of him. Nope. So. I'm going to need a drone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, also, I want to give a, a shout out to uh, Pit Mesh. Uh, they were in here installing. We were the first node in Beachview. Awesome. For mm-hmm. for pit mesh or meta mesh is the company actually, uh, so it doesn't do much but give free Wi Fi within like I don't know a, a 
about 50 yards of the business, but uh, hopefully we kind of spearhead things and can start popping them up and convince some of the business here to also be a part of that. Uh, so uh, so Pit Mesh is now at least started here in Beach in Beachview. So I, I, I definitely, uh, guys, go to, I believe it's metamesh.org. Sounds right. Yep, that's the one. Sign up for the newsletter, see what they're doing. Um, they're really kind of uh, blanketing a lot of the city um, with internet, and and there's a pretty exciting news on there about their their like their back their backbone that's going up. That's getting like like yes, hundreds fiber speeds. of gigabytes yeah. fiber speeds up there. We could use that over here in Beachview because I you know you know if you guys aren't gold you know or on the live stream, it was hard to get internet here, and I'm not entirely happy with the internet we ended up with. So, <laughs> so if there's an opportunity for something <laughs> faster to happen here at Beachview, I am all for it. So uh, keep an eye on there. Sign up for the newsletter. I didn't realize I, was, I wasn't on the newsletter. Now I'm getting all the fancy <laughs> announcements for everything going on. So, um, so check them out. Buzzy, what, what are you guys doing these days? Uh, we're spinning up three new podcasts. So we have a new one out with Alex Tapula, who's a comedian. Who um, they talk about Tim and the co-host. They talk about murder. And murder mysteries. It's called "Give Me Murder" mm. or "Give Me Death," and it's doing really well. Um, and Alex is a super talented, funny guy in the city. Um, we're working with another comedian, John Dick Winters. He's doing a podcast with his daughters. It's going to be called "Teenage Wasteland." Mm -hmm. We're working on a podcast with Ray Zawatney, who's another comic, and that's about uh, quitting jobs. <laughs> so it's all about qu quitting and giving up on work. Um, and then one more, we we are working to add a local um, news podcast. So that nice. is not announced yet, but it's in the works. Nice, nice. Yeah, it's always been cool to see, like, like you guys are definitely in touch with the the comedy side of town. 100%. And, and you guys have, like, really built, built a great network around that, too. Yeah. So it's, There's so much talent in the city, and it's it's a easy talent pool to work with and, mm -hmm. and work from. So I, I, I threw a shout-out. I, I think I saw you like it about uh, Justin Labar's party mm -hmm. before raw and seeing all those people there around the podcast yeah and we yeah. did our thing here um um uh, saturday with fishing without bait and you guys are always doing things around the shows around you know like you guys are promoting especially with black forge and everything you know music and comedians and then there's the podcast element around it you mm -hmm. know guys promoting that and so you know anytime that there's people gathering because of a podcast yeah that's good for all yeah. of us doing podcasts when we did a uh, drinking partners i couldn't believe it it was like there was a hundred people that came out and it was like for a podcast that's unheard of in this that's city. Amazing. And it, it mm -hmm. was a really good feeling to, to know that there can be a community out there. It's super hard to get like, you know, that was a one-time thing. And, uh, and, and sometimes you know. there's a nice crossover. Like, like Labar has a great crossover because between the trip, between everything, like, you know, everything with Pittsburgh Podcast Network and everything. Mm -hmm. um, plus, it's really nice to put it right beside Monday Night, where Monday Night Raw is happening at the mm -hmm. Cambria Suites, mm -hmm. right by the parking garage okay. at the arena. <laughs> hey, Wrestling Reality, come on in. We right all there. got championship belts, and there's Virgil. <laughs> you know, but, you know, things like that. And that's that's a lot of what we're trying to do up here, too, is that kind of, like, let's make gathering spaces for these kinds of things. Speaking of some crossover. Who was your recent guest on Drinking Partners? Who was it? Josh Lucas? No, 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 no. no, no. no. Uncle Crappy. Uncle Crappy, Mike oh, yes. Pound. Yeah. Yes, one of one yeah. of our cons that would be that's on Facebook over here. Yeah, that's on Facebook now. But um, what's funny is I was I'm working with a hitchhiker to do photo and video work with those guys, and uh, he stopped in before and was getting beer for the cast, and then I, d I didn't realize he was the person on the calendar. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, we're going to the same place. So awesome. yeah, uh, it was that's a good amazing. day for sure. That's, that, nice. that's, that's on Facebook now, and we'll be up everywhere else later. It was awesome. It was awesome to be flipping through Facebook and just saying like. Hey, that's Uncle Crappy. Wait, what's he <laughs> what's he doing down at down at the Epicast? Wait, what oh he's on drinking partners. That's perfect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know? 100%. Like, like how did that not happen sooner at that yeah, point? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> awesome. So check out everything epicast.tv is the yep, or, uh, starting point. Or epicastnetwork.com. There you go. Uh Katie at Katie is on the Twitter. Yes. Scarehouse.com. Yes. All sorts updated. If you're a fan, you should go look. There's there's some fun stuff this week. There's new things there's and new stuff things this week. announced. Uh, see what's going to scare you this year, and partially related. I'm still looking for a basement buddy. Yes, we'll find um, you a basement buddy. Yes, I've been for three years. I've been trying to get a basement buddy to go to the basement with me. Can he go through the basement Hello? with one of the scarehouse characters? Gosh. <laughs> You don't want to go through the basement with anybody that knows anybody in the basement. No, 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 no. I want to go as... as it gets taken up a no. notch. Oh, boy. That's, that's why I was asking. Yeah. 
<laughs> you can go through with me. That'll be. <laughs> oh, jeez. No, 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 no. I'll get Trey. I'll talk Trey into it this year. He's coming back for the scare house. Oh, is he? Aww. He's moving to Columbus, and super he's going to cool. come back for the scare house. Oh, he's going to cool. come back for two or three wrestling shows throughout the year and the scare house. Oh, very so, cool. That's awesome. Yeah, he, he had a blast, and he was he was he was hilarious to watch. Get scared at everything. Like he's a reactor. That's awesome. And it's great stuff. <laughs> so, all right, and check everything out. Uh, of course, awesomecast.com. And uh, thank you to producer Missy for keeping us straight here this week. It's good to have you not in California. You're just happy that I'm not in California. Yes, that's true too. <laughs> that's true too. Um, again, uh, subscribe to everything. Check out Patreon.com/slash awesomecast. Check out our streaming partners, Rivers Edge and the 405 Media. And, of course, you can check back here every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern. And, again, we invite everybody in. Uh, you know, Drop us a message on the Facebook groups or, or on Twitter or, or through the email at, at awesomecast at sorgatronmedia.com. And we'll make sure we have a chair out for you if you want to be in the audience and uh, see this recorded live if, you've been, if you're in the area. Uh, Beach views in the south. Some people don't. Some people... I'm amazed when people like in Allentown don't know Beachview is like right next to them. You know, yeah, that's the way the city works. But uh, right along the tracks, you can hop the T if you if you work downtown, get off the of Hampshire, join us here at 7 p.m. And uh, we have lots of pizza So thank you everybody. Thank you Buzzy. Thank you Katie. Thank you to our awesome chat room. You've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.